Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted, but I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. Cut it out! Have yourself. Dan, another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. What about it? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Not an option, I'm afraid. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Don't fool around with that bomb unless you know what you're doing. My, my, just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. 
The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid handsomely. What do you say? Excellent. I had a feeling about you. Here's the fusion pulse charge. It needs to be installed inside the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Ten Penny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Questions? Don't let me keep you. Come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. Hey, smooth skin, you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Wait, you're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Well, now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Moriarty's your best bet. I wish you luck. Now I have to get back to work or I'll be answering to him too. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. Galaxy. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. Guilty as charged. Tell you what, kid. I'm going to help you out, for old time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Eager, eh? Good. I like that. It's nice to have a door in this shithole of a town for a change. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> A ah, little bit of caps for so much information. Think about it. See news. Their signal's been shit lately. He said, what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. 
Jesus, give me that thing. Let's go find this Burke character. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. We shall see our relief. From the pain and hardships of this. Good to see you there. Burke, explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation, personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Don't look at me like that. I know, I know. You've made a grievous error in judgment. Watch your back! So, you're the genius who disarmed the bomb. Weeks of waiting and watching ruined! It's a pity you acted so hastily. In the future, best sleep with one eye open. Just blood is so hard to get out of the floor. A traveler, eh? You want something? Can't I just drink in peace? So, what is it now? Oh, man. I'm glad to see you. Moriarty's been especially nasty lately, and I need a friendly face. I can't talk... ...anything for you, friend. See you soon, drunkie. Don't hit me! 